Do you feel as though you're not making the most of your life and that you could do even better? Because that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Let's dive into 10 ways you can become a better person in no particular order. Number one, practice gratitude. Take a moment each day to think about the day that's just gone and to find something that you've been grateful for. I know I talked about this recently in another video. And it's about looking at your day in a positive way. Finding something that you've enjoyed about your day, something you're grateful about. As I said before, it could be some people talking to each other, laughing and joking made you smile. It could be you playing with a pet. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be anything specific, just something that made you feel grateful for the day you've just had. Number two, listen actively. Now, what I mean by this is when you're talking to somebody else, get involved, pay full attention, lean forward, listen to what they've got to say. Sometimes repeat it back if you're not sure what they've said. One of the things about listening actively to someone is that you're fully invested in your conversation. You're not sitting there and while they're talking, thinking about what you're going to say next. You are actually listening. You're in interested in what they're saying. And what you'll find is because you're listening properly and actively, your thoughts will come back to you and you'll ask a question that's really relevant to the conversation instead of one that you sat back and was like, mm, what could I say next? Number three, volunteer. Now, Deb's we used to volunteer at a charity shop in our town for the British Heart Foundation. There are loads of ways you can volunteer. In our village here, we have a food bank and people go in and volunteer to help get everything ready for that. They have little groups here that go around the village picking up litter every now and again. There's lots of ways that you can volunteer. There's charities in most towns, most cities, and even in small villages like this one, there are, there are places that you can volunteer. The great thing about volunteering is that it helps to foster a sense of connection with the community that you're in. Number four, read regularly. Now, this one has played a major part in my life, I've got to be honest. As you can see behind me in my bookshelves, most of the books that I read in there are self-help books, books to help me improve myself. I've had people say to me, James, all them books haven't done you a lot of good. And I always remind them, yeah, but you should have seen what I was like before. But seriously, books are brilliant. You can challenge your thoughts. You can read stuff that will challenge your perceptions on different things and helps you grow into a wiser person who knows more of what's going on in life. I personally like autobiographies and biographies because I love to see how the mind works of people and how they've got in in life and what the challenge they've overcome are. And reading books is a fantastic way of expanding your knowledge. Number five. Set goals. If there are things that you want in this life, set goals to get them. Now, most of us want the big things, but big things are five years down the road, 10 years down the road. But it doesn't stop you going for them. And the way to do that is to break down the big goal into lots of little chunks. And so you can start with the small chunks and work your way towards it. But not all goals have to be massive goals. They can be goals that are small, just little things that would like you'd like to do to kind of improve yourself in a way. What you'll find is that goals will give you a purpose and a direction in which to go. It saves you being all fuzzy about what you're doing with your life. When you have those goals, it stops you going like that and rambling. It keeps you in a direct route to where you want to go. If you want to be a better person, decide on the person you want to be. Work towards it and prove it by getting little wins along the way until you become the person you want to be. You don't need to have huge jumps 
to get towards that person just a little bit at a time, one little step at a time towards the person that you want to be. Now, if you're finding these tips to be of use, please hit that like button. And if you've got any tips that you'd like to add to the conversation, please don't forget to comment down below. Let us know what's helped you in your life as you've wanted to move on. If you're here for the first time and you've got your own channel on YouTube, down in the pinned comment, if you'd like to reply there, let us know your name and what your channel is about. And who knows, we could even try and build up a community of subscribers to each other to help this community grow. Number six, practice mindfulness. Now this is about taking a little bit of time out of your day to sort of be in the present. Just be calm, relaxed. What it will do, it will bring your stress down and it will give you a better sense of well-being. Meditation for me has been a huge one. I wouldn't have believed the help that it's been for me had I not done it myself. If somebody else would have told me, I wouldn't have believed it. And if you're feeling that way, I know exactly how you feel. Number seven, be kind. Now this one's really easy, you know, because as you go about your day, it's very easy for you to be kind to someone, to compliment them. Small acts of kindness can make an unbelievable difference to the person that you're being kind to. It may be that they don't get that at all. Even as you're walking along the street, just smile at somebody, because if they're looking miserable and they see your smile, it may just bring them out of that and put a smile on their face. Here's the thing, whether it's a compliment or you're helping somebody in need, it's a great thing to do. It will give you a sense of well-being, but more importantly, it may well help someone else. Number eight, stay curious. Ask questions of people and seek to learn from others. The habit of doing that can lead to personal growth and actually making connections with the person you're asking the question of. The other thing, of course, is that by staying curious and wanting to know what's happening around you, you're opening yourself up to more knowledge, which you can use to help yourself be that better person that you want to be. Number nine, reflect on your actions. Take the time to think about what you've been doing on the day, the decisions that you've made, and how your decisions have affected other people. What this can do is help you make better decisions and more thoughtful choices as you move on into the future. And finally, number 10, prioritize self-care. Taking care of your physical and mental health is absolutely essential as you move forward in life. Make the time to do activities that rejuvenate you, whether it be exercise or hobbies or even relaxation. All of those things help towards your self-care and help with your mental well-being. And that's it. Ten ways in which you can become a better person. Now, I'm not saying that you have to do all ten. What I'm saying is pick a few that resonate with you and work towards them. And start to improve because little by little, that's how you will move forward. It won't be a great big leap. It'll just be one step at a time. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. But by the yard, it's hard. Do you remember that saying? Well, that's exactly it. And alongside all of those things, if you click there, watch that video. It talks about when you've messed up, what to do next. I'll see you next time.